focus on let's go farming today is how to grow chili and we are here at Kabika Farms and we'll be talking to Madam Awaenda Kabika who is a chili grower. My name is Mutin Tanyanga. Stay tuned. Welcome to Sami Fisheries, a home of variety. We found catfish, tilapia, fingerlings, poultry and livestock. At Sami Fisheries, we work as a community in order to contribute to Zambia's food basket. Our produce markets beyond Livingston. We are found in Livingston at plot number 4993 slash 4994 off Mosotunya Road along Maramba River. For details, you can call us on 0977 78 6175 or 0978 03 3582 or email us at samsimango at hotmail.com Now we are joined by Miss Kavika here at Kavika Farms. How are you? Welcome to the program. I'm fine, thank you. And how are you? Yeah, very fine. Okay, so before we start talking about why we're here, you've been a chili grower. Can you give us a background about yourself? Who is Miss Kavika? Miss Kavika is um, a, 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 one of the children of the late Rubas Kavika and Chiteo Kavika, uh, who were farmers uh, at this place. Unfortunately, they are both late, of course. Profession, I'm a teacher by profession. I've, um, I've done actually almost all the teaching. I started with primary school teaching, secondary school teaching, and I even went for my master's now. I even qualify for, to lecture. Actually, I've been lecturing at the Livingston Residential, Wunza Residential School. Of late, uh, I'm concentrating mainly on the chili growing. And uh, because I, I, I resigned a long time ago from the teaching profession, but I was doing my own uh, thing. I, was, um, I went into nursery. But when they called for me to come back to live with my parents, unfortunately, by then my mother had already died. There was still my father alive. And he had grown very old, and um, I had to come to, to, to Livingston to stay with him, to look after him. And as I was looking for what to do, because uh, yeah, there's no one who can just stay without having these necessities of life. So I was also looking for what to do, how could I live? So... One of the things was a farming, which our parents used to do. Um, uh, having looked at uh, even the attempts which were made on thing, each time crop uh, maize was grown and other things, they were eaten. And I, de I knew that we needed a, a, an electrical fence. And that would, would help. And the, 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 the crop which wouldn't attract the animals, more especially elephants, which are more uh, vicious and very destructive. Um, it, was, it was chili. Although I'm told now that they even eat chili. <laughs> they even, <laughs> they've, they've transformed. <laughs> so, so that's how I started the, looking at how to grow chili. When, when you want to grow chili, of course land is vital. You should have a, a necessities like water around. And those are the things which actually makes me go into agriculture. Okay. Because uh, of water, I, I have a, a, an ad, advantage. Okay. Um, so the place has plenty of water. And the land, it is uh, good. But now we go on a short break. We'll be right back. Yeah. 
Welcome back. You are watching Let's Go Farming and we are looking at how to grow chili here at Kavika Farms. I'm with Miss Kavika who is a chili grower. Before I went on a break, mom, you are talking about um, how to plant chili now. Can you explain to the viewers on how to do that? How, how to grow chilies? Uh, of course, there's preparation of land where they, we have to make a, a, a small nursery. Actually, you make a small nursery, and uh, when when they they, they 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 germinate, actually, when they germinate, uh, uh, you have uh, when you are preparing, you have to make the soil also fertile, so that you have better seedlings, which 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 are which are healthy. So you have to keep on watering it twice a day. And then eventually, when, when they pick up, you, you, you change. Also, depending on the weather, on hot days, you, when you see that it's dry, you, you, you water so that they don't wilt. Um, it depends on being a hot area. They, they, they are seedlings. They are, I can show you how, how I've been growing it. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Sami Fisheries, a home of variety. We farm catfish, tilapia, fingerlings, poultry, and livestock. At Sami Fisheries, we work as a community in order to contribute to Zambia's food basket. Our produce markets beyond Livingston. We are found in Livingston at plot number 4993 slash 4994 off Mosotunia Road along Maramba River. For details, you can call us on 0977 78 6175 or 0978 03 3582 or email us at samsimango at hotmail.com. So th th this is the, the, the nursery. Of course, you can even see that it is also in stages. We, we have the, the bigger ones and the smaller ones. Uh, this is the type of chili um, I'm, 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 I'm growing. It is the Hebenoro. It is hot, hot chili. But uh, it's also known locally as the Mbuzi. Um, a chili. It, it's, it, it, it is well recommended actually. It grows uh, even under very difficult circumstances. So this is why I even uh, chose the, this uh, seed. So th this is what has grown. Uh, as, I, as I alluded earlier that you know after after planting after uh, planting the seeds uh, we are maintained by watering uh, the, the, the nursery beds so this uh, to, 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 to help grow uh, fortunately with the again uh, the only thing is the climate change our 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 plants they get affected with the change of weather and they don't grow as they are supposed to. But fortunately enough, they, 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 they do well and have, have a very good harvest. So when, when after, after watering yeah, and the need for, for planting, this is how we, we do it. <coughs> To help not not to, to destroy the the roots because roots are very important. The the the, the, the soil is weight. I will use a garden fork, you know, to help dig up uh, without without breaking the the what the the roots. And it's better when the 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 soil. I mean, when you have uprooted everything. So, you, when you are also, you have to be mindful. You don't, you have to carry a bit of, uh, what, 
soil with you because it's going to adapt into a different uh, 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 environment. So it's better that even if it, 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 it has been disturbed it, so that it grows fast, far faster. Like I said earlier, that when we make these seedbeds, we make sure that they are manured and, and so on. So it applies even where we are going to transplant. <coughs> We don't have to get a lot because when it becomes hot, it affects the plant. So we will do it in, in small bunches so that we, we adapt this in a, a new environment where we shall water, so I, I, we shall water again. So let's go to where we are transplanting. Uh, we have, uh, I've prepared also the place where to transplant. So we'll get a few at a time, we'll come for some more as we go along. Here where we have uh, prepared land for transplanting, and uh, unlike we are at the nursery where we are just doing flat, uh, planting. Uh, here what we have done is we have first dug the, 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 the area to loosen the, the, the soil and to allow um, air to move freely. So um, for us to in this season to grow the chilies properly because they also need a lot of water moisture and um, we have dug uh, trenches for, for, for the water to, to, to stand in as we, 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 we grow. Um, the spe specifications for, the, for, for growing, the rows are one meter. This stick, it is already measured. It is one meter apart. So we, 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 we measure one, 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 one meter in, 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 in between. The, 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 the trenches. And when you're planting, we have this one which is 60 centimeters. This is the, 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 the plants um, uh, be between the, 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 the plants. So we have these trenches one meter apart. Of course, you can see the, the soil has moisture. And we have to keep on measuring. Six centimeters apart. Follow the where we have already planted, because it, this was uh, what is, uh, sixty centi centimeters. So you make another hole, and the holes should be should be deep enough to 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 cover to cover the the, the roots when they are planted. So I'll, I'll continue uh, digging that's how deep the the, the, the holes uh, the, the, the rows which which we have uh, more. I have somebody to help me. Uh, but Lawrence will, will, will finish off while I, I start uh, planting and he will keep on making holes for, with these same specifications. So, 
go. What 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 happened? After that, we we are not watering again with this small one until maybe after planting. Before we plant, we have to moisturize the the, the hole. Uh, uh, watering the, 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 the seedlings and now um, we have also put water so that there's enough moisture for, for, the, for the seeds. Like I said, the, the depth of, 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 of the, 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 the roots should be, uh, they should be, you don't have to compress the, the roots. It's better to, to, to leave them, I uh, mean, to, 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 for them to, you, you hold them so that at least it's, they are just covered. You cover with it, uh, what, soil, and make sure that it, it's upright. There we are. So this is how we, we plant and it, it should be upright so that it grows up, they don't um, fall off. So you have to plant one plant at a time. So I'm going to, I'm doing my next one. We've already put water and then plant, put, cover it with, 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 with soil. And even after we have planted again, we have to, to, to water. Because sometimes, as you can see, the other one has a lot of moisture. In this case, the second one doesn't seem to have, we still have to, important it is for this crop to to have to have water and as we said for the air the the, the soil is already loosened there's a lot of uh, circulation of, of and and since these now are big enough they can make their own their own food you know photosynthesis uh, as they should show. So you have to ensure that all the requirements are, are there. Uh, are there. It, it wouldn't be good to, to use uh, directly the what. Uh, you usually use the cans. Of course, here we have improvised ones. They still work, the improvised ones. So you make sure that it is well watered. When they are about two weeks old, that's when we will add uh, some uh, fertilizer. We were using organic, uh, what? Sometimes we use organic manure when we, we, we have it. But the type, of so, uh, the type of grass we have, it's not very co good for, for plants because it, it puts a lot of uh, roots and those Kill the, 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 the plant. This is how you you you, you plant the, 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 the chilies. The, the chili. Welcome back. Before we went on a break, Miss Kavika was showing us on how she plants her chili. Now we are here at the second stage. What happens here, ma'am? The second stage where we are now letting it grow on its own. It, it has managed to, they've managed to, to, to adapt. 
So, yeah. And this one is how how old is it? This is uh, three weeks uh, three weeks old. Okay. Um, we we have we have uh, put fertilizers eh, to to eat when it was two weeks old, mm -hmm. and now it is eh, uh, it is flowering. And if you can see that these furrows we're showing you, mm -hmm. they, they they help with the the, the, the moisture a, a, around and makes the the plants grow better. Um, uh, the other thing they need now it is to be pruned. This one, which is uh, uh, on the floor, because what uh, what touches the ground, it 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 it, it doesn't it it the, it it gets contaminated with some some, some diseases. Time again, you need to to dig to to weed, even using a a garden uh, a garden fork, you know, allowing the the what. The, the, the air to go in. We were at the second stage, now we are at the third and final stage of chili growing. Can you explain to us what's going to happen here? Yes, uh, from uh, this is the final stage. We have shown uh, how we planted the nursery and uh, we, uh, we have transplanted. And this, that same process uh, applied to this. Now we are having the final product which you can even put on the table. How do you harvest? How many days do you harvest your chili? Um, the, 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 we harvest every week, at least once a, a, a week. What medicinal benefits uh, can one find in chili? Um, there are quite a number, but um, uh, the, the many people, actually there's many races who who use who, who use the uh, chili for uh, as an appetizer and also for seasoning in our our fruits in in, in our relishes or even in the making of of pico you know so uh, and it is also mixed with other things to to help you know improve uh, our, 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 our health. What are your future plans as we go, Madam? My, 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 my future plans is to, to, to do better, even extending. This is not the, 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 the end, even extending. The wastages which are there, sometimes you don't have very good market. That's another problem. It is a problem of marketing. When you don't have market, there's so much wastage. So uh, to eliminate that uh, the, the the wastage, uh, it's it's better one you know learns also how to process the 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 the, 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 the chilies in what uh, whatever form it is. Uh, if one is going to make powder chili or sauce or pickles or mention it, then those ones. We want to, to come to that stage. Indeed, what a way to go, Miss uh, Kabika. Thank you so much for having us at your farm. <laughs> it has been a pleasure. Uh, that's all we could recommendate on this particular episode on Let's Go Farming. My name is Mutin Tanyang. Until next time, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.